Hello, I'm Bibi. I'm here in my bathroom at my house with my dark circles and all. And I'm gonna give you my beauty routine from start to finish. First step is washing your face and being clean. I will say that a lot of times after a show I fall asleep and forget to wash my makeup off and it's the worst feeling in the world. So I love this exfoliator. It's German and I can't use it too much because if I use it too much, it dries my skin out. It has like these little pebbles in it and it just, it it's kind of like mycodermabrasion, but not really. It's like, and cheaper and feels so good. So I put it all over my face. Now we're gonna wash this. So my next step is a serum. Um, one of many serums that I was about to come. But um, I went to my dermatologist and they suggested this for me because I have super, super dry skin, especially because I fly a lot. So this is amazing for hydration and I will be putting this onto my skin. So you'll see, you'll see how nice it feels. All right. The next step is my La Mer Concentrate. I just love this because it helps like, um, reduce like irritation and redness in your skin. And it just makes my skin feel so soft and smooth. It comes like in a little wand like this. So here's another serum and it just feels nice. And I think it's supposed to protect your skin like from the outside world. So um, I put this on, so here we go. I like to like, sometimes I like to like give myself like a massage and like, because I feel like a lot of times I get sinus problems or like allergies and I like to go around my eyes and just like massage around my eyes. This is a face roller that I like to use sometimes, once in a while when I feel like treating myself. It's from the MDNA um, skincare line, Madonna skincare line. And what you do is you kind of move in an upward fashion just to kind of like lift everything up. You want to kind of lift it up. You don't want to go down because then you're pulling your face down. So my last two steps for skincare is my actual moisturizing cream. First step I'll do with the creams is the La Mer Eye Cream. Final step for skin is um, the La Mer. All right, so now I have all my skincare on, all the serums, and then I like to do the rose mist, like whatever rose mist. This is the MDNA. So nice, made out of a thousand roses. One thousand. So the first thing that I like to do when I start my makeup is my eyebrows, which personally is one of the hardest things on my face, I feel like. So I'm gonna use Anastasia. So I never start like here. I always kind of start like in this area. The first thing I'll do is I'll just kind of go like that just to see what areas I'm missing. Ooh, look at that. It's kind of shaping nicely. This eyebrow is not the same as the other one, but it's okay. Okay, so I like to do the end part as I said. We're gonna go to the front here and just like literally slowly just, cause I feel like I have a little bit of a like, space here. So I just kind of like pulse up like that. The one thing with me is like, I'll do my makeup, but then I'll come back like 8,000 times because I'm never happy and I'm a perfectionist. So this is not sorry, here I'm just doing it. Right there. So I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, like brow gel, it's just clear. And when I'm done with my eyebrows, I just like to go through them a little bit. And it just kind of holds them in place. Done. So today I'm going to do this blue and it's called Something Blue, inspired by Miss Debbie Harry. But before I put that color on, I'm gonna use this Huda Beauty palette. Look how beautiful she looks. Mm. Like this. And then I'm gonna get this color on. 
I, like lately, have been like super into David Bowie's makeup and like how he did the, um, like that lightning bolt on his face, but mixed with like modern touches, which is kind of gonna kind of be this makeup look. I'm gonna take this amazing blue that I love and put it on my eyes. So fun. I think like sometimes it's like just fun to do something different. People tell me my eye my eyes are really big. When I was little, I used to like cry all the time because people would say, "You have big eyes," and they would call me they would call me Wednesday Adams because I had like the dark black hair. I'm literally gonna just go in and like press it in, just like vibes, just feel it out, like what feels good, you know? Because we can always go back. The one thing that I love about makeup is like you can go back and fix anything, you know? Good makeup wipe. I'm gonna just press, 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 press. I'm not precious with it, you know what I mean? It's rock and roll. So I um, am going to layer this blue with another blue that's in this beautiful palette by Morphe. And it's called 39L, hit the lights. I and mean, look at this palette. Oh, it's so awesome. I wanna make love to this palette. Like, I'm gonna pat the blue and then and I'm just gonna go in. So after I put it on, like you could tell it's kind of like the edges are kind of a mess. And it's all about blending. So now I'm going to do um, a thin liner at the end, just like a tip of the liner, just to kind of lift the eye. I am going to use a uh, pot. So when I'm doing my eyeliner, I usually always like mess it up, but I go back with like a pencil and I clean it. So I'm not, I don't stress out about that. So my next step is I'm going to curl my lashes. Curl my lashes. I just kind of give it a little pause. Pause, pause, pause. The next step is L'Oreal Voluminous Original. And I'm basically putting this on my lashes before I add my false lashes because it helps kind of make them like, it helps them kind of like come together. Next up is eyelashes that we got at Nanny's. They're so pretty. So I kind of just put the glue on there and I just kind of let it sit for a second and let it get tacky. Cause if it's, if you put it on right away, it'll start moving around. Take the lash. I have to use tweezers because my nails are ridiculously long. I'm just gonna kind of go along with it. So I have a really cool like technique that I do. I don't press the end of the lash line to the to my to my actual brow here, like my lash. I keep it a little higher. I'm adding a little bit of mascara like this, just so that I could connect my lashes with these fake ones. Cool. The one thing that I found really hard working with a lot of other makeup artists um, or for me was getting rid of my dark circles or like some discoloration that I might have by using a color corrector. So I put it on my hand. I have a beauty blender. I'm going to tap, 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 tap. And I'm going to add it to the spots where I would like to get rid of the darkness. So we're going to start underneath the eyes. So here we go. We're just gonna pat underneath the eyes. And what this is gonna do, it's going to counteract the darkness underneath my eyes. And when we put a concealer on top, it's gonna look like my skin color. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm going around the mouth because that's usually where you have discoloration. So I'm gonna grab my La Mer powder. I have a loose powder or I have this, but I like this for some reason. 
reason. I take the back of my beauty blender and I'm just gonna like go around like this and just like kind of tap my skin too. I like to powder it lightly by hitting it, touching my hand, so that when we put the concealer, it doesn't like move all over the place. Great. Next step. My favorite thing that I've ever used for concealer. It's called Shape Type by Tarte. So we're gonna take the medium color of Tarte Shape Tape. You wanna get underneath the eye. You kinda wanna look, to look like a raccoon. Cause this is all gonna get blended out. But you really wanna create that like, so my number one thing about this one product is when you put it on, you gotta let it sit. I literally will play it, plus, like put this on and like start working around, around my face and add my foundation because this product has to just like kind of mush into the skin a little bit or will not work the way that you want it to. Okay. We're gonna go in right here, right here, here, here. I'm not gonna touch down their eyes. I'm gonna just touch right here slowly. I'm gonna bring it down. Just kind of blend these areas out. As I'm letting the other eyes sit, I'm gonna bring in my La Mer foundation. So a couple of dots, I'm gonna just like pat into my hand. I'll start up here. Like you can kind of see like when I'm putting it on, it's kind of, it's not that heavy. The heaviest thing on my skin is really my concealer. One thing that people do that is like kind of like annoying a little bit is that they miss their ears. So I always move my hair back and you want to always kind of get your ear a little bit. Just kind of tap, tap, tap. Underneath, I bring the foundation down. Really important. This eye here is the blended eye and this is the non-blended eye and there's no more dark circles. So the next step is powdering the under eyes. So I'm going to pop, 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 pop. The brand I'm using for my under eyes, the powder that I'm using for my under eyes is Berlant. I like this powder because it doesn't turn my eye, under eyes gray. And that's really important for me. I'm just going We're going in on this. Slightly powder the top of the head, the forehead, down. That's it, we're done. So I am going to take a big brush, like a big fluffy brush. This is actually the Makeup by Mario brush that he has, the Makeup by Mario Sephora, love. So I'm gonna just blend up. Um, you know what, we can slightly blend the other eyes. I don't want a super bronze look. I'm gonna go for, you know, more of like a pink blush look, a super nude lip. Um, let the eyes speak for themselves, like let them be a moment. But I do like a little bronzing. So I'm gonna use the Fenty bronzer. This is Island Ting. And really lightly, I'm gonna just put like a couple of times. And then I'm gonna go on my hand like this. I just like get scared that if you put the product on and then you put it right on your face, it's gonna be like one dot. So I kind of just like work it in and then I'm just slowly blend it in. So I love, love, love a pink blush. Um, it just gives me life. There's something about it that feels really youthful and like fun and like, I don't know. So here's the, one of my favorites, it's Dior. This one is called Rosy Glow. And then the other pink that I like to use too, that I like to mix with it is Pink Powder by Kylie. Kylie Cosmetics. It's amazing, I love it. I'm gonna start with the Dior. I'll take the Kylie one, cause it's lighter. And I dab it, and I'll just put it right here a little bit. Cause it's lighter. Cool, so 
I have that pinky. I like a lot of pink. Like, um, I also like putting a lot of pink on because I feel like also what will happen throughout the day is kind of like it'll come off and then it'll like soak into your skin and then it just like looks really pretty. So, um, yeah. One thing that I'm going to go back to real quick um, before I get finish off with lips is my under eyes. I'm going to just add a touch of mascara. Okay, so the eyes are speaking. We have the skin done. Um, we're gonna go for a, like a, just a pinky, like nude color on my lip. Cause I think it'd be really pretty um, with like a really pretty lip liner. It's like closer to my skin tone, just cause I don't wanna do anything too crazy. So we're gonna start with this lip liner, which I love, it's from MAC. So the key to making your lip look bigger could tell the difference you see it is that you really want to make sure the thickness is like right in here you want to kind of pull out here Ooh, I like it I think it's really important to find a lip color that is not lighter than your skin um, but not so much darker but kind of like you know, where you could overdraw a little bit and it, it'll look like you got bigger lips. I'm gonna go with lipstick. This is Charlotte Tilbury. I love Charlotte Tilbury. This color is called Kim KW. Cool. So the last step is my setting spray, which is the good old MAC Prep and Prime. I love the smell of it. So I spray my bottom of my face. I'm doing the bottom and I'm using my long ass nails to fan myself. And then I'm gonna do the top. Cover my, I wanna, I don't wanna spray my eye makeup. You know what I mean? So. I guess my next step is just messing up my hair and making it look rock and roll. So take out my pins. Trying to give it a little bit of that Debbie Harry vibe. Yeah. Done. This is Santal 33 sprayed on. And then I mix it with French leather. And it lasts all day. And I smell like a boss. And I'm ready to go. And like. Let's take a little while. 